absolutely surrounded right now. Hi guys, um, today we're at Malam Cove um, and today we're going to um, hike to Janus Foss from the main car park uh, and then Janus Foss to uh, Gordia Scar uh, and there's uh, an improved Gordia Scar uh, there's a second waterfall there um, which I suppose depending on who you are um, and what you're up for and you can uh, actually climb over the second waterfall to get to uh, a really really nice place and uh, the sec third waterfall there uh, which is really really high up looks amazing and especially around this time of year um, just sort of end of June uh, beginning of July onwards and the waterfalls here are um, sort of at really full power just because of the rain Usually you'll have um, sort of farm animals here, um, cows, sheep. Um, I've not seen sheep here, but heard of cows uh, last week as well. And I suppose it's a great place for them to feed. Um, what would the grass been so fresh and green here, especially by the stream? to June you'll get very very calm you know streams and waterfalls etc and then if you're more into this you know hearing all the clashes and and all the streams and, and waterfalls at you know sort of full power then you know you can in July uh, and onwards uh, unless of course you know it starts pouring down uh, beforehand uh, but typically around that time of year and Actually, right now, it looks like it's just about to creep over this grass. I do love a log above, oh god, a stream. very characteristic trail path. Now you think that was a cave but I've checked it out and it's not. Um, it's a gap and the other end of that gap is the other side of the rock slanting down here. It's a very... Uh, well it's, it's okay getting up uh, well, when I say okay, it's fun, but what fun means usually uh, in this context means challenging. So, <laughs> the tree has just fallen and, and fragmented onto the stream. But that is, I mean, I suppose it's beautiful, but I suppose it's maybe also a little sad. Um, but maybe more beautiful than sad. I suppose that's just a circle of life, um, I think, with trees, oh my god, oh there's a lot of moss and I've got to put my cup of tea down here and I will pick that back up shortly, so let's get on to this first just so we can get a better view.
So, we're very, very close to Dennis Fox right now. And uh, we'll come across this set of steps. Straight away you'll hear more and more birds and you'll... If you've come at a time like this like I have, you'll have rain dripping on your head. <laughs> oh god, I am... I'm really nervous today. I'm excited and nervous. Oh my god, the stream is just amazing right now. Just powerful. as cold as I was, as I thought it would be, but it was a, a little tricky to get out at the end. So we're almost at the uh, Bojaskar waterfall right now, and then we'll uh, climb over that, and I'm 100% confident that it will be more challenging than probably last time I tried, so let's go. Here we are, oh my god. Okay, so here's the waterfall at Gordial Scar. And first of all, I mean, it's just, it's just, it's almost inconceivable how, how beautiful this place is. First, you sort of get some moves by all the characteristics, you know, of the surrounding rock walls, etc. And then the waterfall itself is just. You know, so majestic really, it's massive. Um, I also have, I should have a picture or a video, I think, um, of it being not so, you know, um, hmm, uh, powerful back in June or May, I think. So I'll add that maybe side by side as a comparison. We'll see. Uh, it's going to be tricky climbing up there. Uh, very, very tricky. In fact, actually, it's unsafe and it's not recommended. Um, it's highly not recommended and it's highly unsafe. Okay, so... Just a disclaimer. And that's not just for me. That's from, you know, the people who, uh, who work um, here at Malaco, at the National uh, Park uh, building, uh, where they sell uh, 
where they provide routes and maps and sell gifts etc and Woo! okay so it's gonna be a little risky for me to uh, uh, get through these rocks to there with my phone in my hand babbling away so I'm gonna put my phone on now because I need to make my way across over there and then I'm gonna climb above it right there I think it's about maybe three stories high or something house you know three uh, yeah it's really high so let's just get over there first very tricky and unsafe climb very unsafe and tricky so it's gonna take me a while all right welcome I'm gonna basically get onto here, I think, yes, about there. I'm gonna get submerged in the water, hopefully, and uh, climb over to the top. Let's go. Fuck, oh, I'm the way. Shit. Okay, so, I've climbed over it, and it's, uh, Absolutely surrounded right now by uh, flashing waterfalls right now. It's very challenging. Very tricky to get through this. Very well. Oh man, this is gonna be interesting. Very interesting. I seem to be a little stuck maybe. It's there's there's very little opportunity to get past this area right now. The waterfall is so strong and, and the risk is so high. I don't want to get through that waterfall because I don't think there's any safe way out of it. So it's gonna be interesting now to get past this bit. Been absolutely soaked and feared for my life for a moment. Okay. Well, I'm just gonna sit down for a minute. Have to get it together and get a little break because my body shivering. Probably hungry. I don't seem to have anybody joining me today, which uh, I'm glad because yeah, it's very risky today. Extremely. I think it might have been a bit foolish of me to uh, attempt this anyway. But, anyway, here we go. Let's, uh, let's get on. Okay. Now we're very close and I'm shivering because of the cold soaking I had earlier. Um, but wow, this is just incredible. I really, and, and, and I do some crazy shit, but I really wouldn't want to uh, fall into that. I'll be thinking, what the fuck is that guy doing? Anyway, I'm gonna leave my towel on my backpack right here for a bit. Let's, there's another dead bird. Why are there so many dead birds around? That's the first one I've seen and second one that I recorded. So, we're gonna get over here. I am, uh, get over here. I'm just taking a quick peek behind the waterfall. Ah, uh, let's go. Hey, that is amazing. Get right here 
right behind the waterfall. We are right behind it. This is amazing. This is right behind the waterfall. I'm gonna sit right there. And all I can see is behind. Ah, this is incredible. Absolutely incredible. Fuck! There! Right, I'm gonna go sit there. Wow! This is basically right under and behind. And it is just incredible. Let's go. I am gonna be super glad to make it back to the car and then if I'm lucky and the cafe is oh shit my phone is about to die. Fuck. Looks like this is the end of our Okay, so phone died. I uh, decided to try and turn it back on. Ten minutes later, it is on. I'm at the peak, high up on the hill. I can see misty clouds just up here. Actually, I am roughly. And it's just incredible being up here right now. Incredible. I'm also pretty soaked. And there's the. Uh, Scardell stream and waterfall. Wow. Okay, so it's an incredible fuck view from up here. Now I'm gonna make my way down to Jenna's Foss through this hill and then down fuck, to the car park. So that's it. Let's go. So, I've just made it down the top of the hill, across the field, for the exit gate, and now this is route back to Janus Foss. And from Janus Foss, uh, to the uh, guy saw me uh, at a waterfall above the uh, Goizal Scar. I took some pictures and offered to send me them via WhatsApp, so I've given him my number. So hopefully I should have those before uploading the video. Uh, i the video, see where the light goes. And I wonder if he's saying you shall not pass, or if he's saying you're in my way, or if he's saying get the fuck back. I don't know. Damn, my feet are sore. I just want to get through. Hope he doesn't use those horns because oof, they look hard. 
Okay, I'm gonna give you some space. Not that I'm afraid, but just out of respect to your personal space, you can have your space so you don't feel threatened. And I think you sound to feel threatened just because of the way that he's breathing and, and looking at me. So I'm gonna get going. How incredibly cute is this though? I mean, it's just adorable. Um, I'm gonna get something to eat.